Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I got a style. I saw this kind of design from a client, a very good, wonderful client. She brought the style and I really loved it. And I felt I should remake it for my mom. So what I did was to get a lace fabric and then copy, you know, the the design on the dress. I gave I didn't do this design myself by the way. I gave it to my designer to do that for me. And this is what he did compared to the one I gave to him. I gave him this and then he made this. How did he do? I'm very satisfied with his results. To be honest, I really love what he did. I really love it. I'm going to stone all this pattern using Swarovski stone. I think this project is going to look really yummy by the time it's done. So I'm going to have to sew it. Then after sewing it, I'm going to give it to someone to stone for me. I really don't have that time to stone, so I have to, you know, source it out. But I'm not sewing this today. There's a more pressing project to work on and I'm going to show you that. So presently I'm working on this one. This is a male dress. Don't mind that I'm wearing it on Annabelle. Annabelle is my mannequin. I don't have a male mannequin right now, so. This placket, eh? <laughs> this was original DIY. I'd never tried this kind of placket before, and it was not funny. But I think it's okay, it's manageable, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm working on this presently, and I have to finish it up today because this has to be delivered tomorrow so i'm going to finish up the neck with um, a bishop collar and then i'll have to sew the trouser and yes i'll be done so that's what i'll be working on today So I'm done with the collar. I'm going to move on to the sleeve next. So I'm gonna start with sewing placket for the sleeve. I had to sew it round because Nepa took light. <laughs> Add DIY it. Okay, so I'll first sew this placket, um, the sleeve placket. I made an opening on the sleeve. So I'm going to sew the placket to it now. So because there is no iron right now, what I'm going to do is to over stitch it so I can easily fold back. So after over stitching, it folds back more easily. So there I have my placket, though I'm still going to give this a very good press when light comes back. So I'll do the second uh, sleeve placket and then do the cuffs. Here are the two cuffs. I already sewed it and turned it out. So I'm going to join this to, to the sleeves. Guys, I feel like crying right now. I'd finished the shirt. Well, I thought I'd finished until I realized that I sewed the curves to the wrong side. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! Oh my God, so I have to loosen this. Ah, oh God. Anyway, I'm going to loosen it and fix the sleeve properly. And I'm probably going to show you the fittings, a video of the fittings of this dress, I mean, of this shirt on a proper male body. But I think I love the outcome of this shirt. And I still have to sew the, the trouser. guys so i'm almost done with the trouser it still needs it needs a whole lot of ironing like very good 
good ironing but i have to stop sewing right now i have to go to church we have a meeting this evening so i have to be in church by five this is already past four so i should get ready for church i'm going to finish this up when i get back in the night so i will not be able to film it so i'm guessing that the next clip that you would see would be the fitting when the owner wears the dress i can't wait to see it on him i guess you'll see me in my next project I'm so tired guys. I feel so tired. I woke up like I think an hour ago or something. You know when you sleep and it doesn't feel like you slept. You know that kind of feeling. That is the feeling I'm having this morning. I just feel so tired. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I have to continue uh, my mom's project this morning. So what I did was to stone it first. You know, I said I was going to sew it. But I just sew it. I just gave it to the person to help me stone because I had other projects to work on. It really shines in the light. It's Swarovski stone, so it really shines in the light. So what I want to do this morning is to sew it up and make it into a dress. Yes, I'll show you the final dress on Annabelle. I think these are the two projects I'll be showing you in this video. I don't want it too long. Let me just finish this up, then we'll see what it looks like. So now to the um, undergarment, I've cut it, it's just a free, a free gown. So what I intend to do, I intend to make this really f easy for me. I'm just going to serge all the edges around and then turn them once. I think this will be the simplest part of the project. And I don't know if I have the color. Don't mind the mess here. Just don't mind the mess. This looks like it. Yeah, you can use this one. There's a problem. Apparently, I'd forgotten the, the shape of the neckline before cutting the other garment. I cut V for the undergarment, but the shape of the neckline isn't so. So it's not fitting in. But I don't want to adjust it yet. I want her to wear it first. So if it's if the problem still persists or not, then I'll have to come back and sort of create a kind of a wide circular neckline for the undergarment apart from that i feel this dress is yummy 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 is it it here's the flounce i made it slant up a bit that's the sleeve i made it slant up a bit here just to create this sort of eye low kind of thing and i'm really loving this neckline and the embroidery on it i think the color of the undergarment fits it right because when we were thinking of choosing color we we're going to consider blue but then i realized that the magenta was more was why i chose magenta but which other color do you think she can use as undergarment let me know your suggestions which other colors do you think she can pretty much use with this design so here's the yummy yummy dress this really blinks in the light like in the sun in the light it blinks a lot and i love it all right so guys this is it for this sewing vlog if there's any part of this sewing project that you would like 
to see a more detailed tutorial of let me know in the comment section and i'll make sure to make a tutorial a more detailed tutorial of any of these projects i'm loving my mommy's dress <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of such videos. And let me know if you like this kind of videos. I need your feedback. This is a new channel and I need to know if I'm doing the right things. <laughs> All right, so see you in my next sewing project. Bye. -bye.